In this video I'm going to use VLOOKUP and I'm also going to use some um, absolute cell referencing. Now what I've got now on my table is a range of products that maybe a customer's purchased or similar um, but it's only given us the product ID at the moment but I should change that to product ID. So what I wanted to do is look up if it says product ID um, 4 I'd like it to look up from the table what actually is number four, so iPad. So what I hope it would do here is type, it's automatically going to look up four for me, and it's going to find iPad, and it's going to put the text here. So I'm going to start off with an equals and VLOOKUP. And there's also HLOOKUP, which is for horizontal lookup, but um, I'm going to be using VLOOKUP first of all. So I'm going to look up, it gives me a little hand uh, help here. I'm going to look up this value, a comma, from this table down here, so I've set, highlighted my table, A13 to B18, and index number, it's actually going to be column not one, but column number two from the table. And I just need those three things. So let's just go over what this is doing again. It's looking up F2, which is the number four, from the table that's A13 to B18, which is over here. Notice I haven't got the title of the table in the selection. And it's going to choose the value from column 2, which is this one. It could be column 3, but I've got no data there. So when I press enter, brilliant, it's looked up for me iPad. If I change the, the ID, maybe if it's a 1, it's look, looking GoPro, or Chromebook, or to a 6, it's looking up PC. Now, all good so far, but I want it to work for all of the values that are in here. Now ordinarily, I might try to copy that down but you can see already we've got some errors and also from number five it's looking at Chromebook it's got actually got that one right six PC number three is saying not applicable now the issue that we've got here is if I look at the formula in G2 it's looking up these values from this table but if I then look at the values in G3 can you see that the table's gone down a row if I look up the um, values in, um, let's go down to the last one, into G9, it's actually looking up the table, it's actually off the screen. So what we want it to do is keep pointing to the same table, we don't want it to move. So I'm going to update my original formula, so it's looking up value F2, A13 to B18. Now the A um, the column stays the same and the B stays the same. However, what's shifting at the moment is it keeps looking from 13 to 14 to 15. So to make it always look at 13 and always go down as far as 18, I'm just going to put a dollar sign, that's shift and 4, before the 18. Now it looks like nothing's happened, which is good, at least the formula is still working. But now when I drag copy it down, you can see it's worked for all of those values because it keeps looking at 13 to 18 for the table because I put the dollar sign in. The dollar sign is making an absolute cell reference. It doesn't change. Rather than what was happening before, it was changing. That's called a relative cell reference. 